Hey friends, I'm going thrifting and taking you with me to the Graceworks Thrift Store now in Boaz. My good friend Kevin Guffey, whom I've known for, what, what is it, Kevin, going on three decades? <laughs> he has done a great job and told me that it took 14 truckloads to get all their merchandise from Gunnersville to Albertville. And I thoroughly enjoyed shopping with him on Thursday. It was really nice. And he has so much more room in this new location. He's in the Boaz Outlet Center, the former dress barn location. And now he has room for lots more furniture and uh, a huge clothing section with real dressing rooms, which I was very impressed with. That looked good. And uh, all the interesting old things that, of course, you know, I love vintage and I love to check out all the very oldest things. Uh, these little straight back chairs, if I didn't already have um, way too many antique chairs, I would have gotten these. They were $8.95 each and they were just as pretty as could be. They were sturdy and they were sound and the cane wasn't split on the seat or the, the weave, whatever you want to call it. But if, if you need some kind of furniture or occasional piece of something, uh, this is the place to come look. Go check it out and see what he's got because I really found a lot of pretty things and I didn't need any actual furniture today but um, coming up here on the left you're gonna see the rusty crustiest old piece of something <laughs> you need to know I was very tempted to buy this old workbench that's made out of beadboard eight dollars and ninety nine cents set you back less than ten dollars uh, and look how old it's probably been in somebody's garage for half a century <laughs> but you know that's just the kind of thing that I would take home with me but I resisted and I'm sure Ben is saying thank goodness she resisted but I did enjoy looking at what they've got on the shelves currently and there's much more to come to be put out they're just still in the process of putting merchandise out for our shopping pleasure still plenty of things to look at but tons more coming so um, if you're here local or sort of local it's worth the trip you'll see a few things that I have videoed you'll see those at the end when I do a little mini thrift haul from Thursday there are so many good things so many good things I, I was really trying to, to be in a mode of restraint because let me just tell you when I go thrifting with Sue my mother in love was uh, with me this day and I can't go nuts shopping when she's the one with me because she always uh, purchases anything I find and I, I just I can't stand for her to have to spend too much money on me but she she does it because she's a sweetheart and because she says I told her I said hey I'm coming out way on the top of this deal because we're not burning up that much gas from my vehicle driving around and she said no I love that that we get out together and it's an it's a nice thing mentally you know to get out of the house and have a change of pace and do something just for fun so she is look at those lamps I didn't even see those lamps on the bottom left goodness they were probably adorable I didn't even see them you know when I every time I film in a store I do not see all the things that I see afterward <laughs> I don't see them in person so and this look how sweet this is it has a little scripture hide me under the shadow of thy wing Psalm 17 8 and someone had hand painted that little rooster on there and I could have gotten it it's $4.99 could have gotten it but I thought you know I do have a lot of cutting boards and someone else may actually have less <laughs> rooster themed or less cutting board 
category things than I do and they would enjoy finding that. And like I said, I was trying to be a, a little bit restricted on what I purchased or what I picked out because if it gets in the buggy uh, and we get up to the counter, my Susie Q is going to pay for it for me and I didn't want her to have to pay for too much. But I did find some really great things and you'll see as we go along. I love their furniture that's not even priced yet over there. They got some really interesting things. There's that workbench again. So cute. They always have, well, every thrift store has just the potential for things that you cannot imagine. I see an old TV set back there that I was completely blind to in person, but there it is. Like an old tube TV set from the 1970s or 80s. I've seen people um, hollow those out and make pet beds out of them, or um, fish tanks even I've seen. Now, I checked out that little basket, but I wasn't sure what it was. Pretty interesting though. Oh, I, that's what it was. It had merchandise in it that they were still putting out. But look at this big window back here. I don't know how much it was. I did, felt like I couldn't get my my little uh, buggy and that is literally some kind of baby buggy kind of cart that I love they roll so beautifully and I think they say something like Steinmart on it if you if you know more than I do about those really cool little carts you can comment and tell me where they came from but they roll really well this black hatch over to the left really great sorry you only got a glimpse of that because I'm distracted by these big tubs of kitchen utensils which I'm always on the lookout for a very old very old utensil that's wood and might have painted red or green that's flaking off of it you know that I think that little juicer I wondered if it were Tupperware but it, it wasn't that I could see very cute little trivet there cast iron so cute There's a big slicer coming up that I wish I had gotten because now I can think of what I should have done with it. Look how big it is. I have one that does apples. And I was thinking, what in the world do you do with one that big? Uh, cantaloupes or small watermelons? That would have been great. I just couldn't think in that moment of why I would need it, but that's what it would be great for. I do my I cut up cantaloupes the old timey way that my mama taught me to do cut the slices first well cut it in half first scoop the seeds out then you cut each slice and then cut the peel off of each slice now my husband does it a different way I don't know if he saw his people doing it this different way I'm not even going to tell you what the different way is because I found it so outrageous but <laughs> isn't it funny when you get married how uh, you observe totally different habits and traditional ways of doing something that it seems completely wrong to you because that's not the way you saw it done when you were growing up. Okay, now I'm crawling all the way back here because that frame was so pretty, but I couldn't reach it. It was it had stuff in front of it and I couldn't get to it, but it had a really pretty frame. And this piece of cut glass up here, that was precious. I should have 79 cents. Why did I not take that home with me? I don't know. I think sometimes I get so distracted when I'm filming because I'm trying to be aware of not just filming my purse in the cart, which you just got a view of, up and again, um, <laughs> that I forget to also let my mind be in the mode of treasure hunting, which, see, that's why I don't often film while I'm thrifting, because my brain can do one or the other, but not both at the same time very well. Now, someone tell me, what would you use these massive outdoor tool looking scissor clipper things for? Someone please tell me what that's for. I, I mean, I've, I've probably seen those around in my, in my life up to now, but I can't think 
of what you would use them for. And then there was a big barrel back there that said golf clubs, but it was only full of fishing poles. That's why it caught my attention because I didn't see any golf clubs. Not that I play golf. All right, they always have a good selection of linens and they have them normally separated nicely into the size that you would need, twin, queen. And this looks like scarves, but again, I was so distracted. I was already moving on to the next category before I figured out exactly what those things were. Plenty of old suitcases. If you had a craft in mind for an old suitcase, not the oldest vintage kind, but the like 1970s and 80s kind. And here's some fabric that's rolled up and ready for your project. I have found some great deals um, with fabric remnants and fabric cut yardage that way. And look at how pretty all those colors were. I was uh, interested mostly and did, did select the two little ecru tan colored little spool balls. $1.99 each. They're cute. And that probably had um, a partially finished embroidery kit in there. But I've got a partially finished embroidery project of my own that I've been working on since, uh, since Sam was born. And he's, oh gosh, I think he's 27 or 28 years old now. And I get it out every few years. I come across it and I'm like, well, that's pretty. And <laughs> it's very detailed, cruel broadery, embroidery. All right, so I did throw those in. And Sue had already picked out some books and put them in the cart or the buggy. They got a big selection of shoes. I, I didn't have shoes on my mind, so I did not look at those. But wow, this antique sky. They had marked it, 60, I think, $69. I hope I'm right because I'm telling everybody that's watching this. But wow, I looked up a comparative value quite high. So if you have a big place, a good place, you could hang it from the side of a barn or a shed or something to be really pretty. And there is my first glimpse of the very vintage framed art. I came around to the back side because I didn't see a price on the front. But look how old it is and i knew i wanted it but um i knew i was also just filming and browsing and i thought okay when i see kevin again i'm going to ask him how much because i didn't see a price but i knew when i saw the faces of those little children i was like that's a good one i'm gonna want that so i kept filming and looking for a little while they did also have lots of framed art in a big box over there that they'll probably eventually display and spread it out a little more. They haven't been moved from their very, from their old location very long, so I know it takes time to get everything moved. Oh, there's a piano bitch. Or maybe it was just a coffee table. I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, there's a round mirror. That's kind of old. You could probably do something really cute with that. <laughs> That's the way my mind works when I see this old stuff. Um, I loved the variety of old chairs and the spindles on this footboard. The top was not as spindly. I wish we could see it, but, but nary a glimpse can we have of the headboard. But look at the beautiful spindles on the footboard. Oh, we're getting a... Oh, we got nary a glimpse. Just a barely a glimpse. So much potential. I mean, just about every item you could just do so much with. And this is the big clothing section that they're still putting out merchandise into. I found several little tops for my little grand girls. That's a great bench for $35. That, that was awesome. And the front section up here had some very special things, including that old radio look how big that's beautiful see a big whopper desk back there and what is that a little stereo some kind of record player 
Okay, I saw the tag. And I was so curious about this walking cane here. It's a natural branch or, you know, tree limb that someone has cut down. Just good, really good basic pieces. And I really like that Tuscan landscape. Those trees to me look like the Italian, uh, Italian paintings that I see of Tuscany and such. Gorgeous leaded glass doors. And that little table looks so primitive, but on closer inspection, it's actually something, $5.99, it's actually something that was probably made in the 1960s or 70s maybe, um, but it looks like it's a primitive colonial piece from a few feet away to someone who's not an expert in colonial primitive. I mean, I'm not an expert, but I thought that it had that look. This lamp, $6.99 for this floor lamp that I bought one that Olivia ended up with it, and it's so pretty in Olivia's home, but I don't have a need right now for another floor lamp. And then again, I'm going to focus in on this typewriter, which I never remembered to ask. Okay, so here are the things that I came home with. Besides Grace Works, we also did stop at Shepherd's Cove in Boaz. Shepherd's Cove Thrift Store is always an all-time favorite. So, um, what I found today, and now they're mixed up and I can't remember exactly where I found which pieces, but they're both good places. A speckled little crock, cheese crock, and I don't think it's very old because it says made in China, but a swanee, it looks just like. I've got some that are authentically old and Mine may be more tarnished on the metal pieces, but um, where's the price tag? $3? $3. That was a good deal. $3 for a Purex bottle that has got some really special... <laughs> I don't know if I'll even bother to get that out, but let me tell you what I really love. I love that old metal top. You know, everything these days has a plastic top and it doesn't have that old rusty Sue. She promised she could smell Clorox coming out of these bottles, but there's no Clorox smell. Sue, so you're, you're mistaken. There's no Clorox smell coming out of this. Cause I mean, I'm, I'm inhaling deeply. See, there's a Clorox one and a Purex one. And this one, See the texture on that? Look at the texture. Also, with some really nasty stuff on the inside. Not sure if I'm going to bother to get that out or not. But, let's see if I smell this one. She does have a good sniffer. She can smell stuff a lot more quickly than I can, but there's no Clorox smell in these. It would have, it would have been long gone too many years ago. The lids. Why do I love the lids? I don't know. Okay, another little prize for Olivia, a little votive holder for a dollar in the correct green that she is enjoying. And this, this does actually look like it's probably from the 70s or 80s. Maybe. Okay, three dollars for a real wood, look he is really wood, a real wood duck. And he's a mallard and um, he's kind of chipped up. In a few places. I don't know if a, if a dog, a puppy dog, has chewed on this or what. I don't see any other damage. So I can't decide if he needs a full makeover to look different than painted out or to, to take the, the big gash in his bill. See, it's, it's not just paint gash. It's actually, it's, you can feel the chip in there. So I can't decide if I want to make him, you know, something else or just this. Don't know. All right. You would have seen me close up on these. And this one still has the label in it. DMC Pearl, number eight. That's sweet. 
those are both so they're different sizes well i don't know they might have this one just may have more used off of it i don't know but i love them and let's see i guess you saw dollar 99 each on these but they look rather old so i was willing to pay a dollar 99 and then these little burlap sacks that i have no idea 49 for the shorter one <laughs> 79 for the longer one and i actually have no specific plans for them but i just feel like they're a good basic thing to have i couldn't make one for that cheap you know if i if i came came upon an idea where i said you know i need to make myself oh look i'm looking at this too this was 50 cents and it's just a little uh you know i think they're called wine tumblers but you know I would just be drinking tea in this. And I thought this was probably kind of perfect for my granddaughters to use because it does have somewhat of a safer lid and, you know, could put a straw in it if they didn't want to drink out of it just as is. But I thought my granddaughters would appreciate having this to drink out of when they're at my house. They'll probably fight over it. This is why I got identical Hello Kitty plastic cups because I got the first one for 50 cents at the thrift store and they both loved it, Margaret Ann and Claire, both loved it so much that I ended up searching the world over, including the internet, and I ended up paying $18 for another one identical that um, was either on Mercari or somewhere like that. It was, yeah, yeah, I did that. What you would do for your grandkids, that was the most expensive match to a 50 cent Hello Kitty cup, but they love it. And they know those cups are theirs to drink out of when they're here. And that's always special. All right, speaking of little granddaughters, um, I found a few things for them. That would be Margaret's size. That's just a little basic. She's got so many frilly little, okay, I think that was three. This one was one, just a basic black t-shirt because she's got a lot of fancy britches, you know, little ruffle britches and stuff. This is so sweet. It's a mud brand. It was $2.99. That's adorable. Look at the little tie in the front. That looks so sweet for summertime. And then this one would be Claire Bear's size. It says it's a 5'6", but I don't believe it. That'd be the tightest 5'6 you've ever seen. And, um, you know, little girls ages four and five absolutely appreciate sparkly, sparkly animals and just cute animals. This one I might make into a short sleeve so that she can wear it all summer. This would be Margaret's. It's, it's a seven. It'll be a little big for her, but, um, you know, how much was that one? $2.99. Ah, cute. So cute. All right. The other good thing that I found, see this? This came from the Grace Works Thrift Store, and it's so precious. Their faces, their faces are so good. Faces matter to me. I love faces, and like if there's a Santa Claus with a weird face, I'll, I won't get it if he has a weird face. Um, the little brass plate here says. The Country Gallants by Robin, no, I don't say Robin, John G. Brown. And um, the phrase gallants, the little town, little community that I grew up in, it, and my parents are still there, is Gallant, Alabama. So that was especially sweet to me. Um, you know, I change wall decor and framed art. I change it out like I change my britches, which is, you know, every day. I change something on the walls almost every day. I'm telling you, I love to change things out. Um, I have 
several places in my home that are appropriate for specific size things and I just switch it around and enjoy it. Enjoy it because of the variety of it. And if there ever comes a time and opportunity for me to share it with my daughters or friends or anybody, or sometimes I sell a few pieces and that's fine. Um, but this so far working in this craft room, this is a room that, that Joel was actually in here. And you know, what's so funny is, you know, he's, he's a 22 year old young man. He's, he's in college. Um, and I said, I realize that the walls are literally a blush rose color, but I'm begging you to just pretend it's beige. And he kept, kept the lights down low, just some couple of lamps most of the time. And he said, okay, I can do that. Cause I didn't want to repaint this just for one year, just because a young man was going to be, in. and he was willing to do that. And I appreciate that ever so much because uh, now I'm back in this space and I figured I would be. And it doesn't have to be a bedroom anymore. It can be my craft area in the house. Still still looking toward doing our she shed and uh, we're doing little bits at a time and I am recording as I go. And I'll get one of those posted pretty soon, pretty soon. But the next thing you'll see from me are uh, a series of two thrift flip videos. And um, I've got some great ideas that I'm super excited to share with you.